Hi everyone, I'm Jenna and today I'm here to film my top 21 books that I want to read in 2021. And there was a version of this sort of video going around booktube last year where people were reading their top 20 books of 2020. And I did make a list of the top 20 books I wanted to read last year and just never got around to filming a video for it. And because of that, I kind of forgot the list. But then at the end of the year, people were sort of coming back to their 20 books video and seeing if, how much they had read from that list. Ashley from A Dash of Ash, she decided to sort of continue this sort of video and bring it into 2021 where you read 21 books that are at the top of your list to read for whatever reason. And I want to do that. So I looked at the list from last year and kept some of the books the same and took some books off that I did manage to read last year and put new ones in its place and all that. So now I have a sort of revamped list for this year. And just so you know, these are in no particular order. They're just how I thought of them. So let me start rambling on now and get into what books are at the top of my list to read in 2021. So the first book on the list is the third book in the Midnighters series by Scott Westerfeld and it's called Blue Moon. And let's see, in 2019, I started rereading this series. And I got through the first two books of the series and then didn't manage to read this last book. And then in 2020, I didn't read it. And then I decided that I put it on the list because I really, really wanted to get this book and finish my reread of this. And the second book I want to get to is the third book in the Across the Universe trilogy and it's called Shades of Earth. And as you can see, I don't have a physical copy of this book. I need to get one so that I can read this. And I put it on the list because I read the first two books in 2019 and I want to get to the last book to see how it concludes and also not forget what happened in the first two books. Now the next two books I want to get to are part of the same series and I only have the second book with me and that is The Gathering of Shadows by V.E. Schwab and this is part of the Dark Shade of Magic trilogy and I read the first one in 2019 and then a couple weeks later I actually started this book and I got to a point where there was this what the heck's going on moment like this can't be happening how are these rules of this place here and doing what they're doing and I think because of that I would have continued on and finished this book in 2019 but for some reason I put it down and haven't picked it up since and I really want to so I put it on this list to read and I think it goes with the third and final book of this series I really want to read that one as well so that I don't put off like I did and then the fifth book that I want to get to is Ink Spell by Cornelia Funk and this is the second book in the Ink Heart trilogy. And I reread the first book last year for the OWL's Magical Readathon and really loved it just as much as it did the first time. And I wanted to get into this one, which will be a reread, so that I can get into the last book, which is Ink Death. And I don't have Ink Death on my radar because as you can see, this book is a big book and I don't want to put that much pressure on myself but if I can get to 
At least this one this year. At least we continue on with the series. Then I will be happy with myself. And the sixth book that I want to read is for the same reasons as the previous book. It's I've read a lot of the books in the series, but just haven't remembered what goes on in the books. So I had to restart reading the series so I can essentially get to the last books and finish the series. And I read the first one last year for the OWL's Magic Readathon, and I just want to continue on with at least the second one, and that one is Eldest, which is part of the Inheritance Cycle. And I only put the second book on this list because it's a chunk of a book, and I don't put too much pressure on myself to get to the other chunk of books that are in this series. So if I only get to this one, I'll be pleased with myself with that. Just can't wait to continue on and see where this story goes because I kind of forget what happens and so this one will be a reread for me. So yeah, excited to get to this one and continue on with this fantasy series all about dragon. Mm -hmm. Book number seven is a book that I had started reading, let's see, over five years ago, and I got a little chunk of the way through it, and then I just, like, couldn't deal with all that complexities in it, and so I put it down to read something a little more lighter, and then I never picked it back up again. And two people that I follow have talked about this book, and it just made me really want to get back into this world. And that book is this book called House of Leaves by Mark Z. Daniel Whiskey. I think I say his last name. Could be wrong. But this is a book that has story within a story. So it follows this kid who finds this guy's like massive thing about that talks about this house and he tries to like sell it and make it into a book and he can't do that because no one really wants it so he decides to publish it himself and sort of the book you're holding is that book it's just it sounds fascinating but it's like one of those that uses a lot of brain power to read i think so i know it's maybe a bit to get through so this is one i the only on this list that if I don't finish this book, but get a good chunk of it through it, then I will be proud of myself with that. So, yeah, excited to finally get back to this book and see where it goes and how more twisted it gets. Now on to book number eight, which I do not have a physical copy of, but that is the second book to the Imposters book. I think the whole series, trilogy, or whatever is called Imposters, but I'm not totally sure on that, so don't quote me. But I read the Imposters last year and really loved it. And if you saw my favorite books of 2020, you've seen that that's on there. And I just really want to continue on with it so that I don't forget what happened in the first book. And plus it left on this crazy, I guess, cliffhanger where you don't know if our main character is going to be okay and you shouldn't grab the situation that she's in and all that. So it's very cool and I just want to read it. Coming in at number nine is a book I got right around the time that it was released and I heard a lot of people talking about it and really loving it and I just want to note all the hype is about this book and that is this book called The Starless Sea by Erin Morgan Stern and she's author of The Night Circus which I read last year and that one again was on my favorites list of 2020 and I want to get to this one because it's all about a library and deals with books and stuff and just sounds really fascinating and all that and I just want to get to it and 
see what I think about it. So that's why this one's on this list. And the next book, number 10, is Imaginary Friend by Stephen Chobotsky. And if that author name sounds familiar, he's the one that wrote The Perks of Being a Wallflower, which is my favorite book of all time. And when I heard that he was coming out with his second book, this one, I knew I really wanted to read it. But when I got it, I saw that it's a bit of a chunker. So that initially put me off of reading it. And then I started hearing things from different people that have read this book. And one thing that they said was that this book is a horror book. And I'm not a huge horror fan, so that just kind of really put me off of this book. But I really want to give it a chance because it's Steve Jabotsky, obviously. So I put it on this list to motivate me to pick this up. Because if I don't have it on this list and on my radar, then I feel like this book will just sit on bookshelves for years and years and years. And I don't want that to happen, so hopefully I can read this book and see what I think. Coming in at number 11 is Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor. Now as you can see, I have started reading this book and I put tabs to figure out like how many pages I need to read to get it done in a certain amount of days. And I kind of stopped a little more than halfway through. And this book I have mixed feelings about. I just liked it. I wasn't really like loving it about the whole thing. And so I want to give it another chance to see if it was just like the time I was reading it, I didn't really like it, or if it's actually the story that I'm not like quite jiving with. So yeah, so I put it on this list so that I wouldn't keep putting this off and not attempting to at least try to read it. Now on to the next book, which is book 12. And that is a book that is part of a series. And that book is Lever of Souls, which is the third novel of Miss Peregrine's Peculiar Children series. And this one I had started reading the year I was in like my reading slump. And when I got to this book, I was like, you know what? This is a book I'm going to start reading. I'm going to read the whole thing. And it won't be like the other books where I just stop reading after a certain point. And lo and behold, this happened to be one of the ones that I stopped reading and just haven't picked back up. And I decided that, so I can this list, that I need this one on this list because I want to see how this story goes. On to book 13, which is God Shaped Hole by Tiffany D. Bartolo. And this is a book that a bookworm talks has talked about a lot on her channel. And she has read quotes on this book and just every time she talks about it, she makes me want to read this book. So 2019, I want to say, I got this book along with Tiffany DiBortolo's other book and haven't read them. So I figured that this one, as you can see, I've already started a little bit, would be the one that I start with and continue on. And coming in at number 14 is the first book and it's part of a fantasy trilogy and that book is The Final Empire Book 1 in the Mistborn Trilogy by Brandon Sanderson and I got this book along with some other ones and I'll leave that unboxing video below for you in case you haven't seen it and want to see it and this is one of the books I unboxed in that one and this is the UK edition which I think is very stunning and I think superior to the US editions and got it it sort of just stayed on my shelf and recently last year my brother read this book and loved it and that has sort of motivated me to read this book plus other people that love fantasy really love Brandon Sanderson and I just want to get to this book and see what all the hype is about. And book number 15 
is a continuation of a series that I started, I believe it was 2019, and that book is The Assassin's Blade. It's a bind up of novellas in the Throne of Glass series, and I believe this bind up consists of five novellas. And I've heard that you have to read this after you read Throne of Glass because they are prequel novellas, basically. I was explaining stuff in the Thunder Glass book, plus also the other books, and yeah, so I'm excited to get to this, and I just want to continue on with the series, so that's why this one's on my list. to number 16, which is the first book in a trilogy, and that book is this chunker of a book called The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss, and this particular edition is the 10th anniversary edition of this book, which my sister got me for Christmas, and I am really intrigued by this book and really want to get to it. I think one of the reasons I'm putting it off is because it's a chunker of a book, which I'm just now realizing that a lot of books on this list are chunker of books. But I guess I'm on this list because you're putting off thicker books because they take a long time to get through and I like the sad action of starting and finishing a book in a quick amount of time and these thicker books take longer so I think so I, there's a lot of these on this list because I need to get to, to them and stop putting them yeah. And Book number 17 is a book that my sister got for me for Christmas this previous year and I don't want to put it up. I really want to read it and do what I think about it. And that book is A Lot So by Darcy Little Badger. We look familiar to you because I talked about this book in my previous video called my semi-recent book haul where I talked about receiving this book and what it's about. And it just sounds really fascinating and and not something I would typically pick up myself, so I decided to get to this before it just stays on myself for years and years and years. I watch all the stuff in this year, be able to tell my sister, hey, the book you got me for Christmas, I read it. So hopefully I can do that and tell her what I think about it. The next book is one that I also talked about in my semi recent book haul, and that is. The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue by V.E. Schwab. And this one is one that I don't want to put off. I don't want to sit on my shelf for a long time. I want to get to it so that I can know why everyone really loves this book that has read it. And I just want to feel all the feels that everyone else feels. So that's why I put on this list so that I have my radar and I won't be putting this book off. We're going down to the wire. We're down to my last three books and book number 19 is Holding Up the Universe by Jennifer Niven and she's the author of All the Bright Places which when I read it was a favorite book of mine and when I heard that she had this book I got it and proceeded not to read it. And I was taking this list, I saw this book and I was like, you know what? Can't keep putting this book off. I have to read it. And I must say that this book is the only book that I've read on this list so far this year. And I say this was really, really good. Not as good as All the Bird Places, but it was still an intriguing story nonetheless, and I'm glad that I read it. Now the second to last book, book number 20, is To Sleep in a Sea of Stars by Christopher Polini. Earlier in this video, I talked about another one of his books that I wanted to get to, and I decided to put this one on this list because this one is different from the other book I talked about, which was Eldest, and that's Fantasy. And this is sci-fi. figured I need at least one sci-fi on this list because I might want to read it 
Plus, this book is another one of the Chunker books, and I just figured that I need to have it on this list. Because I'm afraid if I don't have it on this list, I'll keep putting this off for a long time and not get to it. One, because it's a chunker, and two, also because it's something different than what he has written. I'm kind of scared, I guess, if I like it or not, but I am intrigued by the premise of this book. And the last book I want to talk about, book number 21, is a book that I have gotten a lot of the way through, but put down for I don't know what reason, and just have it up again, and I don't want it to sit on my shelf unread for a long time, so I put on this list so that I can get back to it. And I am thinking that I'm going to get to this book after the book that I'm currently reading. The book that I'm talking about is this book called The City We Became by N.K. Jemison. And this book talked about a semi-recent book haul. And talked about this, how it's a letter to New York, and I'm really, really intrigued by it. And this one is the first book in a series trilogy. I don't know, but it's more than one book. And I want to continue this book so that I can finish it and not have it sit on my shelf like I do books when I stop reading them partway through. They just end up sitting on my shelves and I don't want this to be one of those. That's why. It's on this list. So those are all the 21 books that I want to get to in 2021. And I'm really excited for all these books that I've talked about in this video. And if you have a book that you think I should get to first of this stack, please let me know in the comments below because I have no idea at this moment what book to start with. So I really appreciate it if you can help me out with that. And yeah, I guess that runs out this video for today. I really hope you liked it and I will see you soon for a new one. Okay, bye!